Okay, what we're going to do now is a risotto of wild mushrooms. 200 grams of wild mushrooms, 160 rice, 550, 500 mils of stock, a bit of water, olive oil, eighth and onion again. Again, cook it without colour. And this time, this time we're going to use the chicken stock. It's just a little bit more robust with the mushrooms. You want that little bit more flavour. When I used to cook, we used to do um, a roast guinea fowl or a roast pheasant with the risotto of wild mushrooms or white truffles. So it's a great, it works very well with chicken or with guinea fowl. White game like a pheasant or a partridge does risotto. Want my rice first. Again. And once again, a splash of white wine. And again, about a hundred mils to start with a chicken stock. What we're going to do here is we're going to prepare these wild mushrooms, which I got from the supermarket. And I don't want to chop them too fine because I kind of like the shapes of some of them, but something like that, just, just chop it into three or four. I'd say leave that one in half. It's, again, it's up to yourself. That one into three. Because what you want to do is when you fry them, you want them all to cook evenly together. And there seems a lot of mushrooms here, but once they start to cook, they'll shrink down to release their water. You could use normal mushrooms, but it wouldn't be the same. I mean, but if we're honest, in the New Forest, porcinis grow everywhere in the season. October, November time, there's a lot of them around. Just make sure you pick the right ones. Huh. I'd say, you know, 100 mils, 100 mils again, you know, just slowly, you know, there's no rule. Just don't put it all in at once, just bit by bit and keep on working it. So I was saying, what we should try and do is retain the beauty of the mushroom. Don't chop them up just for the sake of chopping them up. And also, if you chop them too small, you lose all the texture. That may seem like a, a tremendous amount of mushrooms, but once they're cooked down, the water will release, and you, you'll see. I'm going to flavour this risotto with a bit of thyme. A little bit of thyme just at the end, just to give it that little flavour, because thyme and mushroom works very well together. Rosemary would work well, parsley would work well. You know, what you've got, I mean, it depends on the time of year. You, know, you could use a bit of sage if you wanted, because sage and seps work very well. You could use thyme, you could use rosemary. Chives go well with mushrooms. You know, tarragon goes well with mushrooms. Parsley goes well with mushrooms. I wouldn't use basil, because it's not a natural combination. By stirring it, you're rotating the rice, which allows it to cook evenly. It's absorbing the stock evenly. It's cooking evenly. I'm going to cook a few mushrooms. A little olive oil. If you wanted to go that extra mile, crush some garlic, some finely chopped shallots, sweat them off, in with your mushrooms. It's not necessary, but if you want to go that little bit further, it's your choice. I mean, if we're honest, most packets have instructions. You know, 17, 18, 19, 20 minutes. You know, just have a go, it's not, it's not difficult. A bit of onion, sweat it off. Once you're confident of making risotto, you can make up your own flavors, your own combinations, it's your choice. If you look at the grains now, they're still very white, they're solid. When it's cooked perfectly, what you will see, it has a translucent quality to it, with that little white bead in the middle. Use your packet, which it says on the back, depending on the rice you've bought, to be your guide. Yeah. As I said, everyone's stove's different. You know, it's different. And when you think, I took the mushrooms, I chopped them up while I was here, chopped the onion, 
everything's done within 20 minutes. And I think it's a great meal once a week to give to the children. As you can see how they've just collapsed. Yeah, they're, they're, the volume's now half. And it'll go down even more. But by cooking your mushrooms, you're releasing the water. By releasing the water, you're intensifying the flavour of the mushrooms. And that's what you're trying to achieve, is that intensifying that flavour. And by using the null stock, it's straightforward. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just give these mushrooms a little bit of a boost. Again, it's optional. It's truffle oil. I'm not the greatest fan in the world of it, but for the domestic kitchen, I don't think it's a bad thing. And a little sprig of thyme. Truffle oil is not a bad little thing to have in your cupboard. It just puts that little bit of flavour in the mushrooms, and especially in the risotto. And we won't put the mushrooms in until the very last minute, because what we don't want to do is boil the mushrooms. As you can see, it's coming together very nicely now. I was brought up by my mother to eat risotto al dente. But, you know, mum was Italian, you know. And I do like my risotto al dente. What I regard in pasta as al dente, most people would class as completely raw. But the Italians are very different. You know, and again, don't be dictated by a recipe. It's what you like. And that's the key of cooking, is cooking for yourself. And I was going to keep half the mushrooms back purely for presentation. But I've decided not to. Just let's put them all in. Every ounce of flavour, every drop of flavour, back into the risotto. Because when I get a risotto of mushrooms, I want lots of mushrooms. I want that texture, I want that flavour of the mushrooms. And again, that butterness gives it that richness, gives it that velvety texture. Okay. Again, you can use vegetable stock. I chose to put all the mushrooms into the risotto to get every drop of flavour which is possible into it. If I was in my restaurant, I'd make a mushroom stock and that would be the foundation of it. We haven't got the time to do mushroom stock at home. So we have to make the most of what we've got. And we go down the supermarket, we take the mushrooms that they've got, we get the rice, the stock which is a very good stock, and we, we do the best what we can do. Is if you want to start buying porcini mushrooms, then you're going to be paying a fortune for it. You go to my restaurant in St. James, Luciano, it will cost you £20 for a portion of risotto of porcini. It will cost you £75 for a risotto of white mushrooms. And so, you know, it's what can we do to make something delicious without having to spend a fortune. And this is it.